Hi guys, it's Coach Dean from Baruch's Bearcat Bootcamp. Today we're gonna do our backpack workout, part two. So, just like before, we're gonna grab a few books. We're gonna stuff our backpack nice and heavy. Okay. All in, all in. Here we go. All right. And it's time to begin. So, for our first workout, we're gonna do a backpack thruster. I'm gonna grab on to my straps here. Then we're gonna get down to a squat position and we're gonna thrust the backpack above our head into a shoulder press. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. And what do I look like from the side? I'm here and one, two, three, Four. All right, now we have our backpack courtesy lunge. And the difference in this lunge is we're not stepping all the way back or we're going forward. We're gonna step across and behind. In three, two, one. All the way down, making sure we're maintaining that perfect lunge form, still with the chest upright, back upright, and dropping that knees close to the floor, but not touching. And that's our backpack courtesy lunge. Now we have our backpack leg abduction. Here, simple. So a couple things to note. Make sure you're not using your arms, right? We're not doing an arm exercise. We're strictly focusing on the hip right now. So we're gonna try to find a nice comfortable position, right? I usually love to start with both my feet under my shoulder. I'm gonna keep this hand to the side. I may bring it out for balance, right? In three, two, one. One. Two. Three. And we're gonna make sure we do that on both sides in the actual workout. Now, we have our single leg toe touch deadlift. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see what's happening with my hip, that I'm hinging, not squatting. Now, I'm gonna place the weight, which is my backpack, in my right hand, and I'm gonna do the work on my left leg. I'm gonna bring my right foot up off the ground a bit, and now I'm gonna hinge back and drive. One, two, Three, time for the upper body part of our workout. Starting with a front raise, boom, right? So now I'm gonna make sure I have a nice stable base. Sometimes I may have just a slight bend in my knee. That'll give me a much more comfortable position than just standing straight up here, right? I'm gonna grab whatever it is that I'm using. In this case, we're using our backpack. And I wanna bring my chest up, squeeze my chest, and bring my arms all the way up to my shoulder level. And two, while squeezing the chest. And three, and to the side. Four, and five, and six. Let's now move into our shotgun row and get a really good back exercise going. Now, before we start, it's very important to mention, be sure to change the weight of your backpack. You can add more weight, you can take more weight, depending on which one of the exercises that you're doing. In this case, I'm keeping my backpack the same way that I had it before. I'm gonna to turn to the side, one foot in the back, slightly bent, keeping my back nice and straight. I'm gonna hinge over as much as possible here. Now I'm gonna pull as if I'm trying to start a lawnmower. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's our shotgun row. Now we're gonna do our next exercise, which is our backpack push-up. And if your backpack is too heavy, you can reduce the weight. If having weight at all, extra weight on you is too much, then you can just go with pure body weight. In this case, I'm gonna keep my backpack. I'm gonna hit the floor, hands outside my shoulders, keeping my stomach nice and tight, and push, one, two, Three, four, I'm here. One, two, three. Now we're gonna do a rear delt fly, and for this one, I definitely have to unload some weight. And I'll just take out these, and keep the ones in the front, and that should be enough. Now I'm gonna get into a deadlift type position with my back, nice hinge here, and I'm gonna grab, squeeze, 
my back, my shoulder blades together, and I want to come here, and that's one, and that's two, and that's three, four. I'll show you what that looks like from the back. Five, six. Now we're gonna do our single leg glute bridge. So I'm gonna get on the floor, my back is on the mat, flat. I'm gonna raise my hip just like the regular glute bridge, but this time I'm gonna drive one foot up. I don't want it directly over my head. I want it slightly out on an angle about 45 degrees, and I'm gonna press in to the ground with my left foot, raise my hip, squeeze that glute, and that's one, and that's two, and that's three, and that's four, five, six. Making sure that you do that on both legs. All right, right after our glute bridge, we're gonna go right into our side plank hip raise. So I'm gonna straighten out my body, lay on my side, elbows into the ground. I wanna get my elbow right under my shoulder. I'm gonna put my hand on my hip, making sure that my ankle, knees, hip, and shoulder is in one line. Now I'm going to drive my hips off the floor, one, two, three, four, notice the pause at the top, five, six. Now we're going to get into one of my favorite ab routine, the starfish crunch. I'm going to spread my feet apart, so from here to here, and I'm going to do the same thing with my hand like a starfish. Here, now I'm gonna take the opposite arm and reach over to the opposite leg and try to grab my toes, right? So what we look like is this. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. For all you guys out there that want to finish this workout with a nice high intensity cardio burn, if you have a jump rope, that's great. But if you don't, I like to go with a nice jog here and every 30 seconds, we're going to change our pace, right? So I'm here now, nice and calm, about 50% effort. And then right after 30 seconds, I'm going to drive, 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 increase my intensity to about 85 and then go for about 10 seconds. Really fast, 10 seconds. Then I'm gonna bring it back down, nice and easy, 30 seconds. Then I'm bring it back up, 10 seconds. And that's how we're gonna finish that workout routine. Now, once you finish, you're gonna cool down, nice and easy, nice and easy until your body temperature starts to fall down, heart rate starts to decrease. Then we're going to go into a full stretch, right? Hamstrings, shoulders, back, uh, chest, glutes, everything. And then that's it. Now, until next time, see you guys. Go Bearcat Bootcamp.